Main Tech sent me these heated gloves, so in this video, I'm gonna do a quick unboxing and go ahead and test it out to see how well these work. So this opens up real easy from the bottom, just like so. And so the first thing on top is gonna be this paper that says the meaning of the cold perhaps is to let you find something warmer. And right underneath is gonna be this user guide that shows us how to go ahead and set up the gloves. We're also gonna have this pouch that's kind of like a suede-like material, the charging cable, and the good thing is it does have two ports to go ahead and charge both batteries at the same time. We're also gonna have the batteries in this anti-static bag, and here's what they go ahead and look like. Now these are gonna be 3000 milliamps, and they're covered with this type of plasticish material. And right over here is where it goes ahead and gets connected to go ahead and charge them. And then here's what the backside looks like, the side, and right here is all the additional info on the batteries themselves. And finally, we're gonna have the gloves themselves. And I really do like the fact that they are gonna be wrapped up nicely over here, just like a Christmas present. And after taking it off, here's what they go ahead and look like. And yeah, these are, these are surprisingly long. Like here you can see, it goes ahead and fits, you know, not only in my wrist, but it even goes down like, like a few inches as well too. It's like a blue camo design and I really do like it. Now they are gonna be buckled together, which I do prefer over the clasp, just because it's a lot easier to go ahead and take them off instead of like the regular hook that most gloves have. And so here's a further look at the glove and now to go ahead and put it on. Yeah, this fits nice and comfortably. This is gonna be size large and fits my hand perfectly. And here you could see how much it covers. Like I can even fit my other hand in here. That's how big these gloves are. And uh, of course it does cover my watch, which I do like. So here's what the front of the glove looks like. And on the palm, it is gonna have this textured like material. It's kind of rough as you could hear. And up over here near the fingers, it's gonna have like a leather, leatherite material. In the center, this is kind of like an elastic. And up top of the fingers, we're also gonna have a leather material, but it kind of appears to be different than this leather here. And then same goes for the thumb area. Now taking a look down here, we're gonna have the rest of the design, uh, which is gonna be pretty thick and padded. And here's what the bottom goes ahead and looks like. This is gonna be a different material. Now the good thing is it does have these portions that I can just go ahead and tighten up. And that's good just because it can go ahead and get nice and tight just to prevent any wind, any snow from accumulating here. And there's gonna be actually two of these. The first one's gonna be for the lower fabric. And the second one is gonna be for this other fabric here. And I can just pull that as well too. And there it gets nice and tight. And now taking a look at the back side, we're just gonna have the design and in the center, there's gonna be this buckle just to go ahead and tighten up the gloves just to make sure they don't come loose. And this is gonna be around my wrist. So here you can kind of see how it looks like. And finally, it is gonna have a zipper over here and this is where the battery is gonna be stored. And right there you can see the cable. So now it's time to go ahead and connect the battery right over here and then go ahead and tuck this right inside and then just zip it up and do the same thing for the other glove. And here you can see it goes in, lights up and then immediately turns off. And there, now it's time to test these out to see how hot they get. And to go ahead and turn it on, I can just hold the power button right over here and let go. And right now it's gonna be in the highest setting, which is red. And if I press it again, it'll be in the middle setting, which is green, and then blue will be the lowest setting. And one thing worth noting is that there's gonna be two different colors. The top color is gonna indicate the, the heat level, which of course is gonna be the most intense one. And the bottom color, which is orange, indicates the battery percentage. So right here we could see it's one, two, three, glows out of four, uh, or it's, it's most intense in these three sections, which means it's at 75%. And if you look closely, you can go ahead and see the different numbers, 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100%. And then here, the same thing goes for green. So it actually went ahead and switched to 100% for green and 100% for blue. And then it switched down to 75% for red. So I'll go ahead and leave my left glove on and leave my right glove off and see how warm this gets. So um, starting off at the red one, actually, let me start at blue. Blue is gonna be the lowest range. This one's gonna get only up to 40 degrees Celsius or 104 degrees Fahrenheit. It's supposed to last 10 hours. And if I go ahead and switch to the green mode, right here, the mid-range mode, this one's gonna be a little bit hotter at 122 degrees Fahrenheit or 50 degrees Celsius. And this one's gonna last up to seven hours. And then finally, the most intense setting, which is gonna be the red setting, is gonna be the hottest at 140 degrees Fahrenheit or 60 degrees Celsius, and it's gonna last four hours, which is still plenty. Now, uh, these are gonna be my second pair of heated gloves, uh, or actually technically my first pair because uh, another pair I had would have just been the liners that I have to put other gloves on top of, but these are gonna be just full-on gloves. It has the liner inside already attached, and then the polyester material all around to go ahead and protect it. 
But right now, so far, it is getting warm. I feel it warm uh, like over here on the back of my hand, a little bit around kind of like my wrist area. And again, the thing I like about these more than the other ones would be the fact that since these are a complete set, I don't need to go ahead and worry about putting other gloves on top. And it goes ahead and goes really low. So when I'm outside, whether it be like shoveling snow or just really cold and I want to make sure I'm really bundled up, I can go ahead and tuck a shirt in inside here or even a hoodie just because, again, it has a lot of space in there. So it got even warmer right now. It's comfortable still, but I know this is going to get real hot. The other one, of course, is just warm just because, I mean, I'm in here, but not as warm as this one. So let me give it a little bit more time. So this warmed up pretty well to the point where I feel like my hands getting a little bit sweaty. And the most intense area out of everywhere would be on the top of my hand. And the least intense would be on the wrist, on the cuff area. That's because there's probably no heating unit over here, or at least not as much. And I do feel it warm on the inside of my palm as well as my fingers. And then same thing for the top of my fingers as well too, uh, in comparison to this one. Now, because this one is turned off, I really don't feel anything except just the regular warmth from a glove but I can definitely tell the difference. And I do like the fact that, again, I can go ahead and just get these real tight just to make sure they're gonna be nicely fitted. And same thing for the cuff area. And when it comes time to take this off, I could just loosen this up. Yeah, I can even use my gloves to take it off. Yeah, it's pretty easy. And then pull it out, just like so. And I'll go ahead and turn this one off by holding the button. And there, and I can loosen the cuff, loosen these straps, and then pull it out. Yeah, I feel my hands sweaty now from it. So overall, I'm pretty impressed with these Made Tech gloves. They're definitely gonna keep me real warm when I'm outside shoveling snow uh, or just in the winter now in general. And one more thing I forgot to mention is the fact that these are extremely comfortable to the point where I don't even feel that the battery is over here. Compared to the other ones that I have, the other liners, I can go ahead and feel the battery. It's like on top of my skin, but this just feels a lot more comfortable. But yeah. Overall, you know, I like them and if you're looking for a pair of heated gloves, whether it be for yourself or a gift for somebody, definitely check these out by Maytech.